So let's talk about, Howard, where the progressive movement is right now as somebody who so has represented it and been invested in it. From the Women's March forward, it has been a year of energy for progressive groups. How does that translate going forward? Can they keep up that energy? Well, I actually think the progressives are in the, uh, in the process of informally taking over the Democratic Party. Um, I think the country has moved to the left. It's shocking to me, but a majority of Americans think Medicare for all is a good idea. I mean, and that, frankly, Bernie gets a lot of credit for that. I don't think he's going to be the next nominee, but he could be. Um, but I, because I'm very much for somebody who's younger, I think my generation's got to get the hell out of politics, start coaching and, and start moving up this next generation. So that, who are more, I think, fiscally sane. Neither Republicans or Democrats can claim they're fiscally responsible anymore after what the Republicans just did in this tax bill. And this generation, this young generation is going to pay for that if we don't get the hell out of the way and have somebody who's 50 running the country. So that means no Bernie Sanders, no Joe Biden, for example. Uh, they running. may well run. I'm yeah. going to be supporting somebody who's younger in the next generation. Who I don't know who it is yet, but I'm going to... I was going to say, do you have anybody in mind yet? It's too I, early. There, I think there's a bunch of people that are terrific, and there's more people that aren't on my list who are terrific. Uh, Chris Murphy from Pennsylvania. I mean, from uh, Connecticut. Connecticut. Um, uh, Kamala Harris, of course. Kirsten Gillibrand. Um, I mean, there's, there's Eric Garcetti from Los Angeles, a bit of a long shot, but Trump's broken the rules. You now mayors may have a shot. And there's, look, there's tons of other young people. We were joking before the show, Sam and I, 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 I think, or this segment, and I wouldn't be surprised if you saw 17 people running. Yeah. Yeah. Look a little bit like the Republican primary last well, time Well, hopefully around, there won't right? be any people who aren't, who are just, you know, in there for the fun of it. Governor Dean, always good to see you. <laughs> who end up winning anyway. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 Touche. Yeah. <laughs> Governor, good to see you. Good luck with that cold in Vermont up there today. Thank you.